I just got this box in the mail and I'm going to do an unboxing video for you guys. This box is from Motion Ducks. If you guys haven't heard of them, they make decoy spreaders and some other things. I will leave a link to their website in the description and you guys can go check it out for yourselves. But I've used their decoy spreader in the past. My buddy Blake has one and it does an amazing job of putting motion in the decoys on still days and on not still days. Like this thing is a jerk rig on steroids and you'll see it when I get it out. It is absolutely sick. So let's unbox this and check out what my friends at Motion Ducks sent me. Where do I put this? That looks good. So starting out on the top, we have a anchor for the system. They sell these anchor bags. Basically what you do is you get some rocks and put them in the bag and that will be your anchor for the jerk rig system. Now, this can also be replaced by like an actual anchor for the system. But the thing I like about this is you're not packing in any weight if you're walking in. So if you're one of those guys who walks in to hunt a spot and you gotta walk a long ways, cutting weight is really important. So if you're able to find rocks where you're hunting, you can throw them in here and boom, your jerk rig system is anchored down. So that's a nice perk to have in here. Up next is a little magnetic stick that you use to pick up your spent shells. So on the end here is a magnet and you can go around on the ground on top of the water, wherever you're going, you don't have to bend over and pick up every single shell. You got a magnet right here and you can just pick them all up. Let's see if I get my scissors. Boom. It gets scissors too. So I like how this thing packs down. It's got bungees on the inside, folds up nice and tight like that. You won't even know it's in your bag. So I like that a lot. That will see a lot of use. Picking up spent shells is one of my big things that I like to do is make sure I pick up all my spent shells, put them in a bucket or in the boat or wherever and uh, just kind of pick up my trash behind me because that's that's really important. If you guys don't do that, make sure you pick up your spent shells. Moving on here, we've got two handles for the jerk rig system. Follow me on this. Stick tight with me. I'll go over this and hopefully not confuse you too much about what this thing is. My only question is, am I going to be able to get it all in this much camera space? So, this is one of their spreaders. So this will hold four decoys. There's another rubber band. This will hold four decoys on the ends. And they snap together just kind of like tent poles do. And boom, 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 boom. We've got all four of them set up and then they go into these little holes. I'm gonna really struggle with this to keep it on the camera and not hit a ceiling fan. And there you go. So you're gonna tie your anchor off onto this and that will hold it in place in the water and it's gonna lay flat like this and at the end of each of these, see if I can show you guys this, these things come up and your decoy will be attached to that. So imagine this, you're pulling this and moving it back. You got four decoys kind of going, going all over the place and putting a lot of motion in the water. I think this is a better system than a regular jerk string. You know, on a jerk string, you get one line and you got like four or five decoys on it and they're all going back and forth. It doesn't necessarily look super natural. This, you can pull it nice and easy and it's just kind of wiggling those decoys around. And you can get aggressive with it too and make it look like they're feeding. And I, I've seen this in action and it's absolutely amazing. I will be sure to do a field test of Friday on this. Get the decoys on it, go out to the lake, try it out. But We've got that, and this is a tandem system that I've got, so it's gonna run two of these. We've got the other one in the bag right here. I won't bother getting that out for you guys, but it comes with this piece right here, and it's gonna connect the two spreaders, so you can run seven to eight decoys at one time on a jerk string, which I've got a feeling this, this next season, I'm gonna try and do a uh, motion ducks decoy spreader challenge video where I'm going to try and just use seven or eight decoys in a spread and use this. I think that'd be really cool and I think it would work really well. So if you think about it, ducks are always moving on the water and motion on the water is the most important part of duck hunting. If, if you're in a field it doesn't necessarily matter all that much but on water if your decoys are standing still you don't have any wind 
the ducks are going to be like, that's not natural. Because if you go out anywhere and look at ducks, they're always moving. They're always dabbling in the water, trying to find food. And if you're looking to have more successful hunts, you need motion on the water. I've had days where I go out and set my decoys up and there's no wind. And I'm like, well, I don't have a jerk rig, wish I had one. And then I've also had days where I go out, set my decoys, realize there's no wind, put out a jerk rig, and you know, halfway through the hunt I'm putting the jerk rig out because the ducks aren't working in because there's no wind. You put that jerk rig out, you start moving decoys around and the, the water's moving, then you I've had more success with that. Like last season, I remember on a farm pond hunt, we weren't having very many geese coming in. They'd fly over, circle, they wouldn't commit fully until we put that jerk rig out. And the second we did that, those geese committed feet down right in. I have seen it firsthand. Motion on the water is king. It doesn't matter how many decoys you have out there. If your decoys are moving, you will definitely have some good hunts. So keep that in mind. You don't have to get a motion duck spreader. I know that these things work amazing and I can't wait to show you guys in a, a different video when I get this out in the water and show you the amount of motion it puts off. But get yourself a way to have decoys moving. Spinners don't count. You want motion on the water and you're going to be golden because ducks love, love, love it when decoys are moving. So these, this system, it's really sturdy and I think it's going to hold up pretty well throughout the season. It's got bungees all over it throughout the middle of them and those seem pretty solid as well and the build is pretty great. And what I've seen people do like Duck Gun Chronicles is he uh, leaves his decoys on these little clips and he just throws them over his shoulder and walks in. So you're able to carry your decoys in on this too, which that helps out a lot as well. But other than that, really simple to put together. You need to attach the rope, of course, and then anchor it down in the water and you're all set to go. And I, I honestly can't wait to use this this season. It's gonna be awesome. I really like how it packs down like this. So I'll be able to put it in the kayak and take it out there. I think I can open up the front hatch slide these in there and then they won't take up any space up top and I can pull them out and put the decoys on them and be good to go. I forgot there's one more thing in the bag. We've got a backpack from Motion Ducks and this is the backpack that they've designed to help carry the Motion Ducks decoy spreader system and it looks like it goes right on the sides and there's a buckle strap on there as well. So you just slide them in the sides right here and then buckle it and it's got one on each side to hold your spreader. On the inside there's two non-closing pockets and one zipper pocket and a big open compartment in there so you can fit all of your essentials in there, your coffee, uh, your blind bag essentials like your calls and your shells, snacks, and then it's got a velcro pocket on the front. and just an empty pocket there and two straps on the back for whatever you would like to attach to the back of your backpack. So pretty solid bag. It's nice that it holds the spreaders on the outside so then you can have all the space in the inside. The straps have a chest buckle and then there's also a waist buckle and the waist buckle has shotgun shell holders on it. So that's pretty sweet. A couple handles there. It's a nice little bag. That'll work great for anybody who's trying to pack in some, some gear going into the blind and you want to carry this spreader system because I don't know if this would fit in everybody's everyday blind bag or backpack or whatever you guys use. But even then, it still is pretty compact and packable and it doesn't weigh much at all. So let me know down in the comments. What do you think of the Motion Ducks decoy spreader? I think it's pretty sick and it's gonna be a game changer this next season when I'm hunting some ducks. And I can't wait for that one hunt where that's all I take because that, that will be a pretty fun hunt. But I think that's about it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna help support the channel, go to my website, pick up a hat or a t-shirt or a hoodie. There's a link for that in the description. You can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. 
But that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the next one.